grand rising as you can see it's like six o'clock in the morning i decided to come out to walk brooklyn also i have to take grandpa to his eye specialist this morning he had eye surgery yesterday um and we'll talk more about that later but i had to come over here and say grand rising listen to the sounds of nature While y'all still sleeping. Man. Things we miss out on. But we think we so in tune because we on social media as soon as we wake up. Or we on whatever. Jane in tune with the right things. Like that's why we so off balance. So so on in tune. It's just so it's such a pleasure to be amongst birds, the trees, the flowers, the bees, the sun even. Listen to that. It's beautiful music. I was like, what is this on my tire? It's a beetle. See how many things you miss in the morning when you're still asleep. I'm not gonna drive away with him just on my car like this. I'm gonna grab me a branch. Excuse me, tree. I apologize. Is he dead? There he is. He's okay. It's fine. No beetles were harmed in the making of this vlog, FYI. We are on the way to pick um, One-Eyed Jack up, Grandpa. He has, again, like I said earlier, he has to go to the um, eye specialist today. So I guess we'll be hanging with Grandpa for, for, for a little minute, see what, see what he got going on. So, call you back. Uh, eye specialist. While he's inside, I decided to come over here and sit at the picnic area. Busy over here. You'll be surprised with how many things go on in the day, in a day that you are so unaware of. Like you think everybody's at work, but people. It's a lot of people that has had eye surgery. I see them get out of their cars. I don't want to put anybody on the vlog because, you know, that's their business. We don't know these people. We don't know who might see this and, you know, get offended. So I've walked across the street to this little pond. And you already know I'm going to say my favorite word, but it's, it's, it's nice out here. I'm not going to say I love it. I'm not going to say it's gorgeous, but it's nice. If I had a chair in my car, I would definitely bring it over here to have a seat because it's a vibe. This is uh, very serene, very tranquil uh, where I am. You know, that's where I am in this, in this journey. Very, very serene. I'm gonna just chill for out here for a second and I'll call you back. I have to let y'all see grandpa with his, his uh, eye patch. it's gonna be a beautiful day i have to use the word beautiful i do okay so but it is going to be a gorgeous day i can tell gorgeous is also one of my words by the way btw so I might as well open the windows and get some of this asprana to get grandpa on video i just wanted to give him his privacy so i didn't i didn't i didn't get him on video plus we were talking we were engaged in the conversation and you know it was pretty it was it was you gotta listen to your elders when it's when they're talking to you so that's what i was doing so um i see somebody parachuting or something it is parachute i wish i could turn this camera around and get a close-up but i am driving 
so I like that. See somebody parachuting? Can you see that? So meet Allie. She's expected to grow 20% during the four to six months. During four to six months. It's ideal. It's ideal growth. That's what her paper says. So say hello to Allie in the comments. Hello, Allie. It's Brooklyn's birthday today. Feliz cumpleaños. What are you going to say? You going to say, say something? She's 12 years old. Look how little she is. She's so cute. It's so sweet. Hey, baby. Are you going to say something for your birthday? You gonna make a bir are you going to make a birthday speech? No? Quick question. What is something that you've always wanted to try or learn that you haven't had the chance to do yet? Um, the comment section is open. I just want to know what are some people's thoughts? What, what, what are some things that you have always wanted to learn or try? You know, because we're all different. We're all meeting each other here at this wonderful space. By the way, my name is Harice. For those of you who are new, for those of you who, who are returning, thank you so much. And I am ever so grateful for this opportunity to be your host of Unapologetically Hurries. Come again. But yeah, seriously, share your thoughts. Share your, 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 you in the comments section. Let us get to know you. Can you tell our, can you tell our friends what you did today for your birthday? What did you do? Did you turn up for your birthday? Did you have fun? Did you sleep all day? What did you do? Tell mama, tell everybody. Hmm? You wanna go outside? Did you have treats? Did you have treats? You had lots of them. Did you tell everybody you had a lot of treats? Huh? Do you wanna go outside now? Okay, let's go. When your girl tell you that her hair is um is usually just an afro in the roots, but they married together, they woofing, they doing all type of things up in here. But I am going to get in as much water as possible this year. So it is what it is. We're gonna enjoy. We're gonna rock this lock journey till it can't rock no more this year. I don't, I've never gotten in this much water since I had my locks because I always, for some reason, had a I won't say a fear, but a thought that they would draw up for some reason. This is my hair has been fully saturated for ever since I went to the float tank because I had to wash it there, and then now I just been getting in this jacuzzi every day. And we're just going to do the water thing until we can't do the water thing no more. You understand? So I'm about to get in my jacuzzi now, and I will call you all back. I have literally gotten in this. In, I don't know if you can hear me, but I've gotten into this thing every day. It's, even when it rained, like yesterday, day before yesterday it was raining, I was still in here. You know, it wasn't thunder and light. Then the sister would have had to jump by. But, yeah. It's so relaxing. You know, I'm all about that. I'm all about that. But let me enjoy this. I, I, I do a little, little quick workout in here too. So you can do that. Also in your pool, because I go to the gym Thursday through Sunday. Not every day anymore, because I do, like I said, I work out in this as well daily. But yeah. My hair is literally saturated. I've been dipping in and out, holding my breath, trying to do a handstand, got too much water in my nose I hate that feeling but I did it and I'm gonna keep doing it but I just wanted to come back on here just to say I am getting my hair and then let's see how it looks in the morning this is the best thing about locks though I try to recommend it to everybody all the sisters of color I try to recommend it because I'm telling you getting perms and keep getting your hair braided and all that it's expensive and at the same time you can't have as much fun you know i also was doing the same thing for a long time well not really because my mom straightened our hair until we was like 18 with a, with a, with a straightening comb but still we, we weren't a lot we, we couldn't have as much fun because we had to make sure our hair stayed straight until she got ready to wash and straighten it again you want to take a, a a birthday dip are you swimming Go faster, go faster. Go, go, go. <laughs> this is what we're working with right out of the, right out of the spa. 
it's still wet. It's not saturated, but it's wet. So, we ain't got no shrinkage. And I don't know why that was ever a thought. I guess because I had natural straight hair that was straightened over the years and a perm and blah, and blah, and blah. And it might be shrinkage, but I just don't notice it. I enjoy being in water. I think I'm a mermaid. Remember the, look, the new Little Mermaid, Haley? She got locks. I think, I think, I think, yeah, I'm channeling that. The next day to my out of the sauna here. See, locks is the way to go. I've inspired a lot of people to grow locks and I, my mission is to inspire more to grow locks. I mean, you don't have to do anything. I leave out of the gym, I look like this. Okay, minus the, I, I took the eyelashes off. These are actually my real eyelashes. I wore eyelashes just the reason why people wear wigs, just for versatility. I didn't need them. I have eyelashes, God provided them. And so I decided to take the eyelashes off sometimes, not all the times. You will see them again, but not <clears throat> at this moment. <clears throat> again, you know, the, the, the earth has heated up so the less you have on your body and your face, which I don't wear makeup anyway, except eyeliner I have on today. Um, so you don't want all this extra stuff that's just not natural. I don't. So eyelashes maybe when it's spring and winter, but summertime, we just gonna go ahead and rock these. We just gonna, you know, God gave them to us, so. But anyway, back to my luscious locks. My, it, I'm going to inspire more people to do this. It's just like the best thing ever. It's a process and I like the process. I like the, I like everything about my journey to, to this, to this stage. And I know I have a lot, a long way to go. It's been five years now. I can't even believe it's been five years, but it has. It's actually taken my hair, my hair, if you look back at my 2020 videos, you'll see the dif difference between then and now these are not lock extensions. This is all God given growth, you know, process of growth. But let me head to work because you know we have to work these days. So I was to call y'all back. It's a beautiful day out here. Like why am I even going into work? It's just a beautiful day. Well, I guess I have to since I took grandpa this week to the eye specialist um but i i guess i i pray pray that the sun stays out for me after i get off of work it stays out for us but let me say this i made a post just now on my social media about people talking about they have a, my toxic trait is uh not talking to people for x y and z my toxic you do not need a toxic trait if you if you're true to you like a toxic trait is something, a portrayal, a betrayal, not even betrayal. It's a, <laughs> it's you trying to pretend to be something you're not, but you're trying to prove to everybody else. That's how you, that's just how I am. It's not. That's just how you're choosing to be, to pretend that you're that person. Girl, you're not that person. Stop it. Be true to yourself and stop trying to prove to other people whatever but it's always got to be something negative it's never you trying to prove to yourself that you're a positive person you're loving you're understanding you're from, you know you want to spend time with people you want to give me give me a kiss you can give me a kiss it's okay give me a hug give me some love give me some inspiration give me why don't people make that a trait a positive trait it's always got to be toxic. It's always got to be something that's, I don't know. It's like always such a negative vibe in the world these days. The world is like black and white to me. It's no color. It's no fun. It's no activity. It's just, it's like suck dry. It's like, it's just no life. It's no, it's just no fun, really. It's like, uh, this is why I travel a lot. No, I travel a lot because I want to. But another reason I travel a lot is because in other countries, it's colorful to me. Not like just the clothing or the, the things you see. And I don't know if anybody else understands this, but I know what I'm saying. And maybe you don't understand it today or whenever you see this vlog. But in the future, you would definitely understand if, you, if, you, if your eyes ain't open yet, okay? It's more colorful in other places. It's more love. It's more um, people-friendly. It's more 
even though I don't know you, this is what I have and I'm going to share it with you. You know, I, I dig that vibe. That That's something that we lack in here these days. We do not have that anymore. And I hate it. So, but again, toxic trait, drop, drop the axis, drop the act.